What's up guys, this is Valentina with Bigger Creations and today we're learning how to make stock sounds and logic sound good. So in this video, we're going to cover the actual beat, the instrumental, and how I use stock plugins to make these sounds sound dope. And if you wanna see how I did the vocals, there's a link in the description for a video on all the details on how I processed the vocals. Let me show you what the song sounds like. So that is what the final song sounds like. Now I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did. Now this guitar sound is completely stock. I'm going to show you exactly how I made it sound that way. Um, so first we're going to start a new track and we're just going to go here down to sculpture uh, and hit create. If you notice, if I go here to my channel strip, this is my guitar and then this is the new strip that I made. These are all the effects that I put on that. But to make it sound that way, the first thing I did is when you click into Sculpture, you click Plucked Instruments, and you go to the Funky Lick Stratocaster. Um, and I'm just gonna copy this MIDI into here and solo it so you can see what it sounds like. So it sounds like, it sounds like a guitar, but it sounds very like robotic and plucky. I want to make it a little bit more spacious and make it feel like it's actually a guitar. Here are the settings that I changed. So as I'm playing this, almost everything is the same. All I did was adjust these settings right here. So that's a good basic track. Now, uh, if we go into the other settings, first I added a ring shifter. Sorry, I'm just gonna copy this over. Um, so this is what that sounds like with the ring shifter. And then we add a compressor. And these are my settings. Now this ensemble is what makes it feel so big. Here are my settings. Now, it's not a guitar if we don't have a good amp sound that it's going through, so let's add an amp. And this is what that sounded like. So I just went in here to the default settings, primitive stack clean. Um, and this is what it looks like. This is what it sounds like. Now, if you turn off all of these effects, look, look at the big difference. 
This is what it is without any effects so far. And then... It already sounds so much better. Uh, but we're not done yet. We're going to add an EQ. I'm just going to copy this one over. And this is what my EQ sounds like. Took off all those high frequencies and all of the low frequencies because I wanted space for, you know, my bass sound, my kick drum, my vocals. And so usually vocals are around the 2K range. Um, and then the kick and snares are somewhere around here. So we don't want any of these frequencies to just mesh with the, the other instruments. We want all of the instruments to feel like they have their own space. Um, so this is what we did to the guitar uh, with EQ. And then of course we gotta add an echo. And here are my settings for that. And then some reverb. Here's my space designer. So it's already sounding amazing. Um, and then, you know, this is the track that we just made, but we don't need that anymore because we've got the original. So that's what the guitar sounds like. And then, of course, I added a counter melody. Um, same instrument. All I did was just play different notes, and this is what that sounds like. So there's that. Um, now, I copied the same melody, um, so same MIDI region. So this is what that sounds like. Now, this part, I used a salsa drum pattern. Um, so rhythmically, it was a little bit different on how that riff goes. So I went in and actually shifted the notes. If you notice here, these come in a lot sooner. Instead of dun dun na 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 na, it's dun na na na. Just so that it would go well with the drum pattern here. So I'll turn that on so you can hear it. And then same counter melody, just with that instrument instead. So let me show you how I made this synth. So if you look in here, it's just the ES2 synthesizer. So let's start a new track. I'll show you guys how I made it. Go into ES2 synthesizer. Let's go in here and I'll show you guys the difference here. So we've got that original one is on this side. And then here's the one we're working on. So here are the settings that I changed. I'm just gonna play this. Let's duplicate it here and let's solo this. So this is what it sounds without anything. Um, but let's change some settings. So first, let's move that all the way up. Let's put this volume down. Put this all the way dark. Put this all the way up. And then let's mess with this a little bit. Get a little more plucky. Turn these off, and then let's make this a sign. Put the analog up a little. There we go. So that's it. So that's what it sounds like without adding any of the other effects. This is just what I did to the actual synthesizer sound first. And then if we start adding uh, these other sounds. So first I did an EQ. This is what that sounds like. And then we added a bit crusher. Space designer for some reverb. And then a high pass just to cut out some of those frequencies. Okay, so now we got so now we've got our synth sound. 
Um, and then the last instrument I added before I started adding, you know, the bass and the drum pattern is just a synth piano. And this one is inside of Alchemy. So if you uh, make a new track, go in here, Alchemy, create. And this one is in Gozadera Latina. Then you go into keys and then synth piano. And all I did to it is just add some reverb with Space Designer. So there you go, we've got all of our main instruments. So I made a drum kit with samples I found on Splice um, and this is, this is what it is. So I'll show you guys this drum pattern. Okay, and lastly, I added two different bass sounds, one to have a little bit more fuzz in and the other one just to be kind of more of a regular synth. So for the first bass sound, I just made the subby bass inside of Logic. If you just go under bass, it's subby bass. So we've got the bass amp. Then we add a compressor. And then subby bass enhancer. Some EQ, Overdrive, which does Miracles, Bit Crusher, just get it a little bit more chunky, and some Distortion. I just added a regular synth bass. If you just do an ES2 synthesizer, these are my settings for that. added an EQ to just take out those high frequencies and then overdrive just to really make it hit hard. So all together the instrumental sounds like this. So there you have it guys, that's what the instrumental sounds like. Now I know you guys are dying to hear the vocals and how I did that. So don't forget to check the link in the description for the video where I'm gonna break down all of the plugins that I used on my vocals to make them sound wide and creamy like they do in this song. Thank you for watching. Again, if you wanna see more content, then follow me on Instagram at Bigga Creations. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and let me know how you feel about this video in the comments. Keep making beats.